baby, come give me something on Hey guys, it's Ivy. Today I'm coming on here to do a makeup tutorial and also a product review for you guys. Excuse the quality, you guys. I hope it looks good. I'm using my vlogging camera to do this tutorial because something is wrong with my Canon 70D, so I have to use this for now until Best Buy fixes it, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. It's gonna be a no makeup makeup look featuring the brand Glossier. Now this video isn't sponsored, you guys. It isn't sponsored. I did go ahead and pick up all these items because I was very interested and intrigued by this brand. I wanted to do a no makeup makeup look because that's what this brand kind of um, represents. It's very, very natural makeup. It's not very full coverage makeup at all. And basically, um, it's just supposed to help, you know, enhance what you already have. This is not the makeup that's gonna give you that full cover, super beat face. This is not your full coverage beat makeup. This is just for like every day, or if you're in school, it's perfect for school, high school, college. I picked up a couple of items from the company. I didn't get that much stuff. I got their um, lip gloss, which I was really intrigued, and um, I really wanted to know how this is. The lip gloss is bomb, you guys. I'm gonna get more into it, details and all that good stuff about it later on in the video. And um, I got some of their perfecting skin tint. I got uh, two of their highlights. And I got some of their concealer, and I also got the uh, the boy brow. So the first items we're gonna start off with is the concealer and the skin tint. So the concealer I picked up was the shade Rich 50, and the skin tint I also picked up the shade Rich. And I'm just gonna um, show you guys the packaging. This is how the concealer comes. And this right here is the Perfecting Skin Tint in Rich as well. That's how that looks. And that's the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how these look on my skin. I'm gonna uh, tell you guys about the products as I'm using it. So the concealer has a very, um, I don't wanna say super dewy finish but it th their products aren't uh matte this product is not matte so it's not going to give you um a matte look whatsoever you definitely have to uh set their products you can't just put them on and leave and because you're going to be um, a hot hot mess i have oily skin so it doesn't matter what the product is whether it's matte dewy super super damn matte whatever it is i always always have to um set my foundation or concealer so i'm just going to be applying this in areas i have a lot of like um marks and stuff and of course this covers up all my moles all my beauty marks the concealer does have pretty good coverage i'm gonna um actually go back and order one of their lighter shades so I can have one um, to just brighten under my eye a bit because I still have to use another product for that. As you can see, it almost looks like my skin, right? I'm gonna do a swatch on my hand so you guys can see it. But that's the swatch, hopefully you guys can see. It's literally like my exact skin color. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and blend it out. I have really bad bags, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of um, concealer under there, cause I, I can't take it. And I am using natural lighting for this tutorial, cause I wanted you guys to, you know, really see. Um, I didn't want to use um, artificial lights. I wanted you guys just to be able to see exactly how this looks in the sunlight, like the color and everything. I'm gonna use a little bit of my ColourPop con um, No Filter Concealer. Like, I'm just using a little bit, you guys, cause I look crazy. Now we're gonna take a little bit of the Perfecting Skin Tint. And this is Enrich again. So you guys, I have been wearing this for the last few weeks. 
and I have oily skin. And um, I think it works pretty good on oily skin if you set it properly. Now, as you can see, look, at, it's like a really watery consistency. And this is basically just a skin tint. It's not, this is not gonna give you full on coverage, you guys. It feels um, very watery and cooling, it has a cooling sensation. It doesn't really have a smell much. I feel like I kind of have to use a lot on my face. I don't know if it's just because I have a big face. <laughs> I always want to remember to blend your forehead, you guys. You don't want to leave your forehead unblended because it looks crazy. As far as like lasting power throughout the day, I feel like my face, when I do it like this, it lasts, you know, it lasts me throughout the day. I obviously have to like blot because I am really oily. But for the most part, it doesn't like, um, you know, like fade away. What I loved about this brand when I like use their product, I love that it still gives you a glow. I mean, I obviously need to set, you know, my T-zone, but I love that it's not, um, I don't know, it's just not flat. Of course, to set my face, I love to use my go-to Laura Mercier translucent medium deep powder this is one of my favorites i i literally swear by it for especially for uh deeper complexions and i'm using a a mark jacobs brush i know sometimes you guys ask about my brushes and i forget to mention them but this is my mark Jacobs brush this is my favorite like you know all over setting brush and i just swirl it in and tap some off Yeah, my face is basically set. So I'm getting ready to do my brows and I'm using the boy brow and I have it in the color black, but it's not a uh, black. My brow gel is not black. It's like a really, 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 really dark gray. It's, as you can see, it's not, it's not black. Just brush my brows. I already have like kind of full brows naturally. Um, so, I love this product just so you know, emphasize my own brows a little bit. And I'm not going to like um, clean up my brows because I want it to, like I said, this is a no makeup makeup look. And if I clean up my brows, then it's not going to look like no makeup. So, um,. And um, this product uh, dries your eyebrows down to the point they're like, um, they're firm, but they're not like crunchy and hard, which I like. And to me, it's legit like eyebrow pencil and gel in one, because you can put like more on the brush to get like more coverage on your brows. See, right here is why I want to use a pencil, because my eyebrow is not... It's not popping in that one spot. So you can't tell me those eyebrows aren't like, like they, they look natural, but they have like this pop to them. Um, I don't know, I just really, I love this product. Like I was so skeptical about um, Glossier, but I'm glad I gave them a try because I, I really like it. Okay guys, I have to add back my beauty marks. Now I'm going to add some mascara. This is like my favorite mascara. This is from The Bomb. It's called Mad Lab. This stuff is so good. It works amazing for people that have like micro mini eyelashes like me. I am going to add lashes so I will be right back. I'm using uh, one of the lashes from my collection that's coming out really soon. And um, I'm not going to tell you guys the style name and stuff just yet. Um, I just want to show you guys. These specific lashes are going to be from my um, Naturals collection. And as you guys can see, it has an invisible band. Just so it can, you know, give you that more realistic look. Okay guys, once your lashes are on, you want to go ahead and um, use a black eyeliner just to hide the lash line a little bit. 
Now to the best part um, about Glossier, their highlighters. These are the highlighters, the two that I picked up. I picked up um, Moonstone and Topaz. So the first color I'm gonna show you is Topaz. And this is a swatch of it. What Topaz looks like, really, really pretty. And now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, and this is Moonstone. This is Moonstone right here next to Topaz. I wanted to uh, also tell you guys about the formulation of their highlights. It's like the mid, the center is uh, like coconut oil or some type of oils um, in the center and it mixes with the actual um, cream highlight. So if you're not into like super glossy wet looking highlights, you probably won't like glossier highlights. Um, but I happen to love them and this is the way I apply it now my favorite is Moonstone I just think it looks bomb on dark skin I like to rub my finger in the product get some on my finger and just um, I go in and tap it And you guys you get the prettiest highlight I swear So after I apply the highlight, I usually take my beauty blender and just kind of press it into the skin. Just so it's not just sitting there. And also for my no makeup makeup, I don't really contour um, much with powder contour unless I really want it to look super natural. So I'm using my Sasha um, powder blush in the shade matte brown. Looks like this It's like a really um, dark dark brown color and I like to use this to contour when I want it to look really natural and I'm using a um, soft angle contour from Sigma and I literally you guys I just I tap it in there this stuff is pigmented now I'm just gonna add my lip gloss and I'm using the glossier lip gloss and I love this stuff you guys it's so glossy the applicator is so smooth. The formula is very smooth. I'm absolutely, I love uh, glossier products. I wish they would come out with more lip gloss colors. Um, I wish they would come out with like a powder version of the highlight. I overall, I love them. I would probably give them like a seven out of 10 just because um, I would like them to um, up the ante on the longevity of the products, and I also would like them to f reformulate those highlights just a little bit so they're a little bit more pigmented, um, but for the most part, they're beautiful. Let me know if you guys are loving my no makeup makeup look. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumb this up, comment below, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. I can tell you ain't from around it. All that body, baby, it's not fair Pull up on that ass in a 